welcome to the Purple Party known as Purple Nerd Channel, home for all those who geek out on all things Prince related. In April of 1993, MTV News announced that Prince would be releasing a new EP called Papa, set to be released on June 7th, 1993. But this date came and went without this EP hitting the shelves. Instead, in September of 1993, Warner Brothers released Prince the Hits, a greatest hits collection that Warner Brothers had been planning since 1989, but had been unable to move forward as Prince was against the idea of releasing a greatest hits collection. But with the excuse of Prince's album sales on a steady decline, according to Warner Brothers, they went against Prince's request and released it anyway. Mind you, his last two albums that were released prior to this were Diamonds and Pearls, which sold over 3 million copies, and the Love Symbol album, which sold over a million copies, but according to Warner Brothers, his sales were poor. And if having to release and promote a project that you didn't want to put out in the first place wasn't bad enough for Prince, Warner Brothers flat out refused to put any new album out by Prince in 1993, which is probably why this EP never saw the light of day as they shot down his triple album The Dawn that year and his concept of releasing Come and The Gold Experience on the same day to create a competition between Prince and his new name, which he changed to in 1993 to free himself from being Prince as Prince was an owned entity of Warner Brothers. So let's dive into the Papa EP. We open up with the title song, Papa. <laughs> This is a dark song that tells a horrific story of child abuse and suicide. The song will be added to the album Come, which was released in 1994. There are no differences between the EP version of this song and the album cut of the track. Next is Come. This song will become the title track of the album the same name that I just mentioned. The album version is a 11 minute long ode to oral pleasure with more of a R&B hip hop groove to it. Where this version is an easy to digest 4 minutes and 22 seconds long and is more of a funky dance groove with the same lyrics but with some slight alterations here and there. And overall sung in a lower register compared to the album cut. Next is Peach. This is a hard rock song with Michael B on drums and Sonny T on bass with some moans provided by Kim Basinger. In the song, Prince explains in hilarious fashion that he is just not good enough for a particular beautiful woman. The song will be released with the Hits collection appearing on disc number two. The final track of the EP is Race. This song would be included on the album Come as well, but this version is longer and at a slightly slower pace, with more breaks between the verses compared to the album cut. In the song, Prince speaks of the fallacies of race. Thank you for joining me on this episode. Please like and share this video. And as always, please subscribe to the channel. And if you have a moment, go ahead and check out my Patreon page. I will have links and information to that in the description down below. I will see you on the next episode where I talk about a Prince EP that was actually released. And until the next episode, I wish you heaven.